Hi students, today I am going to explain how to find the residence of the given wire using Ohm's law. To, to find the residence of this given wire, we need a, a battery eliminator and an ammeter and a voltmeter and a rheostat and a, a plug key. So we have ammeter with a range of 0 to 3 ampere. So the least count of this ammeter is so the number of divisions between 0 and 0 0.5 is 10. So 0 0.5 divided by 10 that is equal to 0 0.05 ampere. So the least count of this ammeter is 0 0.05 ampere. Next we have voltmeter with a range of 0 to 5 volt. So the least count of this voltmeter the number of divisions between 0 and 1 is 10. So 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1 volt. So the least count of this voltmeter is 0 0.1 volt. So this is a rheostat. We can vary the current through the circuit using this rheostat. So using this device as I am going to explain how to find the resistance of this given wire using Ohm's law. So the Ohm's law states that at a constant temperature, the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor. So V is directly proportional to I. So this proportionality symbol is replaced by a constant V equals to R into I. So this R is called the resistance. So the unit of resistance is Ohm. So using this formula I can simply write by R equals to V by I. So V is potential difference across the resistor. I is the current through the given resistor. So now I am going to explain the circuit diagram. So we, we need a battery eliminator. This is the positive end, this is the negative end of the battery eliminator. So the positive end of the el battery eliminator is connected with a, an ammeter. Positive, this is the negative end of the ammeter. So the negative end of the ammeter is connected with a given wire. Having resistance R. So the parallel to the wire, we are going to connect a, a voltmeter. So this is the positive end of the voltmeter, this is the negative end of the voltmeter. So the negative end of the battery is connected with a key and a, a rear stat. So rear stat it's it's a variable resistor which will which will control the amount of current flows to the circuit. So using this circuit diagram, I'm going to plot a graph between the potential drop across the given wire and current through the given wire. So V and I. So the SI root of potential is volt. The SI root of current is ampere. So we have a model graph potential versus current. So my potential is directly proportional to my current. So we are getting a, a linear curve. So if you take the slope of this curve, my A, B and C. So the slope of the curve is nothing but my the resistance of the given material. So where my R equals to V by I. So the resistance value equals to BC by AB. So the change in potential by change in current which gives my resistance value. So now I am going to explain how to determine the potential and current. So using this circuit diagram we are going to connect these devices. So from the positive end of the battery is connected with the positive end of the ammeter from the negative of the ammeter is connected with the given wire 
and the another end of the given wire is connected with the rheostat from the another end of the rheostat here this wire is connected with the key and uh, the other end of the key is connected with the negative end of the battery so now i am going to connect a voltmeter parallel to the given wire which will measure the potential drop across the resistor So now I am going to switch on the battery eliminator. So the ammeter value is 0.1 ampere. My voltmeter shows a value of 0.3 volt. So if I vary the rheostat value. That's an increase in voltage as well as the current. So now my ammeter shows the value of 0.2 ampere. My voltmeter is 0.6 volt. I just wrote it down here 0.6 and 0.2. So if I increase further, my voltage as well as current gets increases. Now the ammeter shows the value of 0 0.3 and the voltmeter is 0 0.9. 0 0.3 and 0 0.9. Okay, next if it increases further. So now my ammeter shows the value of 0 0.4, my voltmeter shows the value of 1.1. 1 .1. So if I increase this further, now my ammeter shows the value of 0 0.5, my voltmeter reading is 1.6. So using this potential and current value, we are going to plot a graph and uh, from the graph we are able to find the resistance of the given wire. So I will explain the calculation part. So now I am going to explain how to find the resistance using VI graph. So along my Y axis is the potential, along my X axis the current. So first I am going to explain the scale. So along x axis 1 centimeter that is equal to 0 0.1 ampere along y axis 1 centimeter that is equal to 0 0.2 volt. So for my first reading 0 0.1 ampere the potential is 0 0.3 volt. The second reading for 0 0.2 ampere my potential is 0 0.6 volt. For third reading 0 0.3 ampere my potential is 0 0.9. So this is lies between 0 0.8 and 0 0.1.0. So it's 0 0.9. So the next reading is for 0 0.4, my potential drop is 1.2. The next reading of the current is 0 0.5 ampere. My potential drop is 1.5. So using these points, I'm going to take a straight line. So this is my linear curve potential increases my current also gets increases. So if I am taking the slope of this curve I am able to find the change in potential by 
change in current if you want to find my resistance i should know the change in potential with respect to change in current so this straight line if you take the straight line of this point is said to be my v2 is nothing but my 0.9 the straight line of this point is said to be v1 is my 0.6 so delta v is nothing but my v2 minus v1 so 0.9 minus 0.6 so delta i is nothing but i2 minus i1 if you take the straight line of this point is said to be 1 0.2 ampere if it is the straight line of this line is said to be 0.3 ampere so 0.3 minus 0.2 so r equals to 0.3 divided by 0.1 so where r equals to, r equals to z3 ohm in the next step i will explain how to find the resistance per centimeter of the given wire so we found that resistance of the given wire r equals to 3 ohm so now i am going to explain how to find the resistance of the given wire per centimeter so the resistance per centimeter so i can simply write my rcm is nothing but my total resistance total resistance of the wire divided by the length of the wire so my total resistance of the wire is 3 ohm is we found so the length of the wire i am using here is 500 cm of meter so 500 cm so this is my 0.006 ohm per cm so this is a resistance per cm value of the given wire so using this resistance value we are able to find the resistivity of the material also so so we know my resistance equals to rho l by a so where l is my length of the wire a is the area of cross section of the wire and rho is the resistivity of the wire so if you want to find the resistivity of the wire resistivity of the wire rho equals to r times a by l so r into pi r square divided by l so we know the resistance of the given wire 3 ohm and r small r is the radius of the given wire we found we found that 0.25 into 10 power minus 3 meters so how to find the radius of the given wire using screw gauge we have already uploaded a video i give the, the uh, link in the description if you want to check you can check and then the length of the wire equals to 500 cm r 0.5 meters so if i substituting these values in the above equation then i can simply write my resistivity of the material equals to 3 into 3.14 into 0.25 into 10 power minus 3 the whole square divided by 0.5 so if you are solving this i am able to write my resistivity of the given material is 1.17 into 10 power minus 6 ohm meter so this is how we are able to find the resistivity of the given material So if you like this video you can share with your friends and subscribe to the channel to get the regular updates I just stop at this point thanks for watching